My role is being knowledgeable. My role is understanding the patient that's coming to me, understanding the background of that patient, understanding the family situation, and being prepared uh, not only from a knowledge perspective, but from a social perspective, to welcome that patient into my practice. Well, I think it's education of the, of the neurologist who's going to accept the care of the patient. And I think that's why many neurologists are somewhat anxious about taking on a pediatric-based disorder. So the, the neurologist has to do their homework as well if it's not going to be um, in, with an expert in that field. That's a key element. And I think the pediatric neurologist can help the adult neurologist in understanding the disorder. Smoothing out the bumps is not that easy. If you're prepared, it's much simpler. So for me, I believe in communication and I believe in communication with the pediatric neurologist. I just don't want all of a sudden to have someone that I don't know who's transferring care you know, show up at the, on, on my doorstep and I'm supposed to take care of them. So prior to having any interaction with the family or with the patient, I think it's critical that you have an interaction with the pediatric neurologist. And I'm not just talking email. I think a phone call, uh, to talk about the patient, to talk about their concerns is much more important than just reading some electronic medical record and hoping you figure it out. Well, I think it's also important when you first meet the patient, uh, don't be such a doctor doctor. Actually be a person so that people don't get caught up in the formality of it all, so that they can become familiar with you as a person, because that's what you want to be. You want to be their doctor, but you also want to be a person to them. I give credit to the Child Neurology Foundation for understanding this concept of transition as being incredibly important for the quality of life of the patients that, that are children to begin with and then become adults. So without this transition focus, and advocacy by the Child Neurology Foundation, who's going to do this? Who's going to do this? So I think that I fully support and endorse the fact that the Child Neurology Foundation wants to engage adult neurologists like myself uh, in this effort because I think you need both halves. I think that for children with complex neurologic disorders, they are going to grow up. So their lifespan is going to include more than the pediatric neurologist. It just absolutely has to. And it's critical that adult neurologists understand the problems that face children with complex neurologic problems as they grow into adulthood. <laughs>